We are here in the legendary studios. I'm here with Flash, and we are going over the top 10 picks you do not want to play in 2023. This is painful for me to say, but I don't want to play these games. Folks, we're going to give you 10 more games that he doesn't want to see to come to the table in the next 12 months. So stay tuned here on Legendary Tactics. Okay, Flash, so was this list hard to put hard to put together? I have no, to know. It was super easy. Really? So as a kid, I used to be the kid who, when I started a book, I had to finish reading the book. Okay. As an adult, if I don't like a book, I throw it away. <laughs> Out with the garbage. Gone. I love Same it. Same with board games. If I'm not enjoying the play experience after two, maybe, th you know what? Maybe even two plays. After two. After two. You've got it, two go rounds, and it, that's it. If it doesn't hook me, I'm out. That's fast. So, I, yeah. And and I will tell you that some of these uh, you're not going to be happy with. Because <laughs> I know they're on your top ten yeah. favorite ones. I do lists. like. Yes. Okay. So. All right. Well, let's start off with number ten. What's what's your first? This one's easy. His, I've only played this once. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. Okay. And it, was, it was a slow slog. I remember... Yeah. I, I played one turn of this game. It took an entire hour to come around, and my actual turn, I had a plan for the entire hour, yeah. was about 43 seconds I timed it. And it, and I had about five people at the table who were all doing rule checks, and I gotta look up this rule, and I'm on my tablet, and I'm oh, doing this. And they goodness. were playing the game. It wasn't that they were watching football, they were playing the game, and it literally took an hour for that wow. 43 second turn. Painful, like it. Hated painful, it. bad experience, okay. Terrible. Well, uh, hard to blame you on that one. Maybe you go over next time with people that know what they're doing. I think people have told that me I need to give it another try. Was that one of the so, first game? Uh, it was, yeah. You do do two games, And I really, think about it. Usually. Okay, let's that go on That was so bad, I didn't I didn't. You can't even go back to it. All right, yep. well, let's go to number number two. Number, number two, yeah, next one. Race for the Galaxy. Oh! Didn't you just oh, do a strategy guide on I this? love that game. Yes. James and I sat down, to check out down below, we got the video there, and it is a great game. What are you thinking? Why? Yeah, I'm, it, you know what, it's thematic, or mechanically, it's the card building games, where it just, for me, stressful games aren't ones I love playing. I love thematic games. Okay. And that, to me, is my opponent constantly pulling ahead of me. And you're probably thinking out there, like, does he just not like games that he's bad at? <laughs> I wouldn't say that's the case. Because <laughs> some of the games on this list, I'm, I'm fine at. Um, but I don't want to be good at Race for the Galaxy, because I just, I don't like the style of game. Well, there's also the sim symbology I find in the game that's a bit yeah. tricky to figure out. That's exactly what got me the first try, where I'm trying to figure out all of the... There is a learning curve. I'll grant it that, and even yeah. the money system being a little... Anyway, there's a lot of little subtleties of the game that you have to kind of pick up nuances to it. For sure. But you get past that, it is a great game. I, yeah, I've heard. I've been told. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Number three on our list. Let's keep rolling Number here. What is it? Number three is, I think, your and NATO's all-time top game of all... Oh. Twilight Struggle. It's in my list of uh, yeah. five, top five for sure. Top five. Oh, yeah. why? Uh, two words. Too stressful. Too stressful. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yeah. And you and, hate that. And you know what? My problem, too, is the length of the game, the, the stress you endure for that period of time, it feels like you're losing the whole time, and and even if you win, it feels like you're losing. Have you heard about the Twilight Struggle lunch, lunchbox out? I have, because uh, NATO picked that up, and we're doing a playthrough of that. You too. Excellent, excellent. Would you consider doing that one? Absolutely. Because I think Two it, rounds. I think it remedies all of the problems that I have with the game. I liked I liked it oh, pretty well. And I liked to, it a lot. Yeah. yeah, you have to be aware that this is a channel. This is heresy to say this on this channel because NATO has made 110 Twilight Struggle videos on this channel. Yeah, he would fall is, over. Yeah, which is slightly maniacal. <laughs> but uh, yes. luckily, he's. You'll notice he's not in the studio while I'm saying this. So. Yeah, yeah, but we we uh, we've got Flash on record. He will do the lunchbox version of Twilight. Will. So there we Absolutely. have it. Okay, let's roll on. Next one, uh, Agricola. Oh, yep. okay, an oldie but a goodie. Only played it a couple, no, an oldie but a baddie. <laughs> an oldie but a baddie. <laughs> <laughs> Only played it a couple Many times. Many people liked it. I had, the game was broken for me when a friend told me there's only one path to victory, and that's to diversify. You can't focus on, like, I'm a just going to go specific element. all livestock. Because if you ignore anything, you get penalized. So, yes. So, uh, for me, not enough right. There's so many better um Euro builder, engine builder games. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you know what? That's um, interesting points. And I mean, if it's, it's a very classic Euro. It is. Yeah. But just not, not what you for want. Me. Yeah. Very and, good. And great gate. Is that Reiner Knizia who did that one? Great, great designer. But um, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's roll on to the next one. Arkham Horror. 
Didn't like the he doesn't like the Arkham doesn't like the no. Arkham series. Again, we played, Why? we played it really late at night. You probably remember we did. the game. It we did. Like it was in a hotel. It was a six hour slog. It was a long slog. We we were kind of figuring our way through it. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Just too yep. long. Yeah. Too sloppy. And, and I love theme. I didn't love the theme in that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. That's fair. Fair point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, little bit, you know, sci-fi and all that stuff too. So okay, yeah, and let's... I love I love H.P. Lovecraft. So, but I like to read him. I don't like to play him. Okay, so keep it to the book form. That's right. Let's move on. Pandemic. Ooh. Too close to home. Yeah, yeah. Next. <laughs> enough said. Yeah, enough said. Well, Number seven. All right. Oh boy, I'm looking at this list. I yeah. see it before you folks and Flash. I'm going to let you say it, because I'm not saying it. <laughs> Which okay. one is it, Flash? So this is going to be a problem, probably I, with our viewership. This is, uh, Disclaimer, this does not reflect the views <laughs> of the channel. <laughs> Only Flashes. That's Flash, right. burn bridges. So I bought the digital edition last year. Uh, this game was just rated on BGG as the number one game. It just displaced Gloomhaven. It's Brass Birmingham. Why? So, what are you thinking? You know what? I think it's just the style of game. It's it's those Euro games. I don't like the theme. I don't that like that. You know, the, one of the currencies is beer. Um, oh. It just feels okay. Clunky. Um, the game didn't capture my interest, and I think you would like it. I yeah, I haven't friends. played. I have played a lot of it, but. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that on my list. Yeah. So yeah, just not there for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. And you're sticking to it? I would. I'll be happily if you want to change my mind by showing me how great it is. Awesome. Oh, another one I should have. Well, mentioned. folks, convince them down below, please, because you know what? This is a little embarrassing. <laughs> another one that I would compare to this is Le Havre, which I didn't love. Okay. Um, mind okay. you, I was in, in excruciating back pain when I played it. So, so also it, not your not your finest form. That's right. Okay. So now I have to. I I own that. Fair point. Okay, so, uh, but Brass, you're willing to listen. Yes, I think that one, I, I have the potential to like it. I'm just not there yet. Okay, okay, well, let's keep it as a maybe then. Okay, <laughs> all right. Next one on our list. What are we looking at? We're going with Monopoly. There's just so many better games out there. It's old school. It is. And and I did the strategy the guide on it. And with the kids. You know what, the kid, that's the only way to play it. Is yes. With kids having fun, don't play it competitively. No, no, yeah. no. Now, NATO does argue that you can do a game in 20 minutes. Folks, I've never seen it happen. Uh, it's been it's it's a easily an hour and a half game, but absolutely. Anyway, so we got two left here. All right, go to the next one so on your list. This is a big generalization, but I'm gonna say any game with a Euro type city or province name. So Burgundy, Leicestershire, Concordia, Le Havre, Calais, Tigris, and Euphrates. I'm bored of the name of the games, and I just wish they would innovate. Uh, it feels like they've found a pattern of Euro games and, and gone with it. Don't like the names, so. So I, you know what? I'm going to vehemently disagree with you on, on that on that idea yes. of of, of the, the concept of picking the game and writing it off by the name. Throwing the baby out with the bathroom. Let me just say one word to you: viticulture. Okay, viticulture. Okay, and yeah. it, it's because of viticulture. I think a video is coming down the pipeline from from my end because you know what? I think That's there true. are many, many, many good games out there with boring titles that That's are true. phenomenal games. Yes, so. I would agree. Viticulture, probably one of the worst names I've heard for oh. a game. And, and a game about making a, wine, another a, a concept you would hate. And I, I love the game. The game is brilliant. It's fantastic. Brilliant game. It's really, really good. So, so uh, and I think he needs to retool number nine. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that said, you did, you have mentioned La Havre earlier. I did. It's on yeah. your list. La Havre. I'm, didn't I'm like sure it. there's some pretty good throwaways in here, but I, uh, baby in bathwater. Yeah, yeah, I've got to watch it. I'm just not there. Concordia looks like it has potential. I played the digital. You are a man that needs okay. to be like lured in by starting with the title. Yeah, I need I need a title. You need eye candy. Star Wars Rebellion. You need something looking cool. Horrified. And then, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah Mind yeah. you, another game I love. Uh, with a terrible title as a choir. Terrible Great title. Great game. Great game. Yeah, that's yes. right. You know, we are going to do that. We're going to do that video. We should do that it's video. happening. And one last... I'm, I'm just going to blank it because I'm in the mood for blanket. <laughs> you are all games. over this. I'm, Widespread cancellation <laughs> happening on number 10. Here it is. And... Any Cthulhu-themed game. Okay. And I think the reason... Bit for of a this, cheater there because you already had Arkham. I did, yeah. But so I'll take I'm it. I'm just going to blanket kick the rest out too. Um, the, the problem with the Cthulhu games is that because the IP is now publicly available, anyone can make a game without paying the rights, and so everyone is making a game. And they're and just slapping the title on they it? They slap the right? theme on, they slap the title on. I love the theme. I don't love the games. Right. Uh, they just don't... 
uh, feel great to me. They don't feel too. Um, there was one, something emerald, um, which actually was really, that was a fun, there was some coolness there. Yeah. Um, can't remember that. So the, the, the Arkham, Arkham Horror Card Game out. Gone. Uh, any Cthulhu yep. game Everything. out. Okay. Gone. Wow. So wow. That's, okay. Now, just before we leave, uh, I got to ask you if there are uh, some games you wouldn't want to play in 2023, what would they be? Nothing. Nothing. I will literally play any game you want. I, oh, ah, really? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> there's one. Would you play this one? No, no, there's one. I, there's one I can't stand. And I don't know, folks, I do not know you why want. I hate this game, but I do not like Kemet. And. Spoiler alert, it's his favorite, or one of them, one of them, yeah. top five. I just can't get behind this game, I've, and I've given it three goes, I think. And I, yeah, let's, um, why don't I we... I don't understand why, I mean... Why don't we just get out and play right uh, now? I get cringy. I love, and I love the theme, I love, like, ancient, this is kind of like ancient egypt -y, you know, uh, board looks fine. I mean, the miniatures in this game are, they look cool, you got big, I don't know, like, They're scorpions awesome. and dragons zipping around here, I mean, you got... He loses all the time. I just don't, I just, I don't know. There's something about this game mechanic that I can't get behind. and I, I just feel like I just don't know what to do in it. I get kind of flustered with it. I'm terrible at it. I lose. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is probably He's... the only one. If it didn't get to the table, I wouldn't shed a tear. Besides that, he sign went, me up. He went so far as to spill a beer on this game in order to make it unplayable. <laughs> but did. you know what? I think it just adds character. It does. Yeah, that's so. right. It's just character. That's, and, tell, uh, and it gives good storytelling. That's games I don't want to play. Thank you for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics. And don't forget to get out there. Be legendary. And get gaming.